Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice 3.0. In we are gonna go. What do we have here? We've got... I think we did the greens our last regular run. Basic we did yesterday, so I... Oops, I guess we'll go force. Uh, bottom turns into a blank. Is probably workable. We got the old clumsy. Uh, monster has plus two, plus two on the right. All here are poison per equipped item. On this run is a little scary. We'd have to go for a cleanse, uh, a cleanse tank. One fewer reroll is bad, but eh, maybe. All monsters gain shield for the first turn, or whatever you want to call these. Call them like anvil sides because they're kind of shaped like anvils a little bit. I think their stone health is maybe the way to call them. Bottom blank is a little... It is kind of usable in a different way. We can break characters with items in a different way. All monsters... Wait, what? All monsters gain one max health. You know what? Yeah, sure. I'll just do that. We have a... I know it's going to be very annoying with things like bees and what have you, but I didn't realize that that one was there. It seems kind of... It seems fine to deal with to me. All right. Got our AoE there, so we can just take out the two on the side a little bit easier, I suppose. But if we stun you... Hmm. We don't want to stun you because we want you to... We want you to die. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. Bring it, bring it, bring it. We have the guilt side that'll that'll work for taking down this archer. As long as he does not kill him. Tier one curse random for four tier one items. Ugh. I gotta be honest, I don't care. It, it, I don't care. Tier 1 items, they're so... maybe. I can't remember the last time I've... Uh, it's been a while since I've used the Ranger, surely. Surely, surely. Which one's the Ranger? This one? I've only taken it one time. It's a case for a lot of them. Seems like I've... Played rogueless. I think it's because uh, Flex doesn't use the rogue. Hmm. Get a little stun out there on somebody. But a little bit of a guilt followed by that is very workable to me. Man. What a squad. I love the four squad so much. I mean, mages are good. Don't get me wrong, mages are good. But it's just kind of like... There's something so... Straightforward and... <laughs> Add heavy and eliminate N plus one pips to all targeted sides. Um, it goes well with the remove keywords face. Heavy and eliminate. They must have both the highest and the lowest. It's it's really good when there's only one target left. I'm going to take it for potential game break later. You know, like we could do... For example, we have the ability to boost all these up. Well, no, but then we'd have to remove the keywords. It'd be good for somebody like you. Yeah, it's pretty much good for, like, the fighter and then, like, a remove keyword thing. It's... It's a bit janky, but, like... I'll take it for possibility, you know, possibility of it being good. With a cool... Cool item combo, you know? Works fine for me. Is a wolf doing three damage? We could do like a little bit of a a weird play like that. 
I'd rather just kill the actual... I, I think that's just better. Clearing the board is a little bit more useful. I feel like the guilt side is, is really not bad for this early on. Get him out, reduce some more damage incoming. And everybody here just has so much health, too. Like, god dang, man. The stars just align. Pilgrim or Berserker is a great question. And I think I know the answer. But we have two out of six on Pilgrim. It's actually not that high. Berserker is one of my least selected. It goes most selected, least selected. Thank you for the uh, the lovely individual who has told us that. Bard 4 out of 4 is pretty telling. I mean, Bard's super good. Banned this run. Oh! Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that characters got banned on force runs. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Interesting to note that there's literally only one um, one character that plays around with mana in the warrior set. Curious. All right, well, I guess we go Berserker. I don't really want to go Barbarian just because that's what I played the last time. I think, I think that's what I played the last time I did Force, right? <clears throat> Though, like... It makes sense to run it on here because there's a lot of prevent death in the gray heroes. Hmm. I'm feeling we can't get the stun correct. And if we can't get the stun. Stun the wolf, then, I guess? Sure, sure, sure. Oof. I do like the cleave side. I feel like the rangers probably got some good breaking tools to him as well. I mean, you do it, right? You go for it. Protect the uh, the wallop. We care a little bit. Uh, we care a little bit about our stun HP potential. Um, though I think that we're probably nice, probably good to go regardless. What a setup that was! Reroll the class of the wallop. To be clear, rerolling the class does not change the color. He is going to be a gray hero regardless. Uh, I don't really see the point. If, if it was turn him into a generate, then I'll say, I'd say sure. Replace the middle four sides with redirect all damage and enemy effects from an ally to me self shield. Huh? That's a pretty silly generated item. Is there a world where we want that? It's good. It's consi like it's pretty good. It's consistency. It beats the hell out of this stuff, but it does also get rid of our focus side. But like the important thing is that we're not gonna be able to wait the middle four sides as well. So it's not even this side. It's it's these. Oh. That does make me want it less, actually. I'm going to take the, the Flickering Blade, replace the rightmost side with a one damage copycat, because it's just genuinely good. Simple as that. It's just a genuinely good thing, and I think I might put it on the... It's either going to be the Wallop, or I actually might rather have the Empty, because there's better faces that I'd rather get for you guys. The Fighter has no 
no things to copycat. Everybody else has something worth copycatting, because we could get ranged cleave. We could get the cleave. I mean, I guess we could get death wish. The pain, the pain side we obviously don't want. Self-shield, focus. Yeah, like, engage. There, there are... Pretty much, there's a side to copycat on pretty much everybody else there, so... It seems worthwhile. I love that combo. I love the idea of um, slapping them with an AoE attack that counts for setting up a focus attack. There's something so beautiful about that. Ooh. One damage inspired. Four mana. That's the only way for us to get it on this one. Two prevent deaths. But yeah, one damage inspired is so easy to turn into two damage. It's so easy to turn this into two damage. And then if we can somehow bump the value up to two... Suddenly, like, I, I feel like a two damage inspired side is really quite good. And also, we have a way to use spells now. Yep, these are these are the guys. These are the ones that I was worried about, if anything. Mm. Could go for the prevent death and just, like... Eh. And say who cares on you there. And literally... Don't do anything to save him. Yeah, that works fine. A little sketchy for the next turn. You got weakened... With all these guys... Oh, give me the copycat side. Oh, I did get the copycat side. However, you've been weakened. I could just prevent... And then go for a stun instead. I kind of like that. So we're just less likely to uh, to roll crap or get petrified. I think that we can handle the militia. And it's just fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cleave. Copycat cleave. What a squad. Fight seven already, baby. Sticky and plus one pips to all sides. I think that there's a real argument for Ranger. Because one thing that's good about him, he's got no bad sides. He's got no bad sides, especially if we then went to go do the copycat. That would be something too, I guess. But these are just very good. It also has um, some gentle synergy with the inspired side. Just a one in six of us being screwed over by the ranger, really, is about it. I like all- I like- I like all that. Oh, I like all that. It's fun. Two damage to some or two damage to all? I'll get rid of the two damage to all, thank you. It's a speed run, baby. Same deal, helpful. Um, this is already fine. I mean, Sinu's up to three out of seven now. 
Just because the bard's been offered to me four times and I've taken him four times. Let's think. Let's let's think here for a sec. Fighter getting the fact that we could take the chain cleave and copycat it is obviously useful. But we also, here's the thing, we literally just took Sinew. Literally just took Sinew. Bard's probably my favorite character. I think I have to be honest. I think Bard's probably my favorite character. I think he goes with everything, and he game breaks really easily. Here's what I actually, here's why I really think I should take him right now. I think I need Cleanse. And I think that that's a really useful way to get it. Uh, the other alternative is I take a random. Yeah, no, let's live a little. Let's take a random. Yay. Everybody loves soldier. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. There's just nothing quite right either. He's consistent. We love a consistent king. Uh, he is going to die if we don't get something going here. Thank you. Alright, you're summoning what? An imp? Yeah. Interestingly, that does not stun you. Uh, this is going to be a roughin'. Oh, we got screwed over big time. Oh, no, we got screwed over big time. Do we, um... Do we go all out? Just to sack like that? Could stun you. That's not going to help us that much. I think that losing two, I think losing two is the best we're going to get, considering that outcome. That was, that was sketchy. Times two versus those that are targeting me this turn. It's really good on Death Wish. We could get a times two, times two. Zeroed, other keywords C, colored, and as zero. Is that, does that help us? Is that, is that what that does? I'm, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take it to figure out, does this? Okay. Let's see, colored three as zero. Times two doesn't sound like it, doesn't sound like it cares about that. I mean, this is irrelevant. Previous dice use was higher. I mean, this... Yeah, this quite literally... This fixes the pain sides. So we don't ha I mean, we don't have to take damage. There's, no there's nothing about... Colored N in there. So I think that it does specifically say on there right now, you take I take zero damage. So that's just good. Oops. Did I just accept it? No, we, we want something better. All right, already good. Loving our uh, banned mana guy. Copycat that range damage. Armorer is divine and one of the few that I feel like I am happy to take instead. Oh God, yeah, you can tell. And also monk exists. All right. It's the time, baby. I do think having cleanse is good today. I think shield one repel 
here's the thing. This can get this can get good. This can get good. There are a decent amount of things that uh, there's like a relatively low tier item or like low um yeah uh, low whatever the heck item that would be helpful here. To plus one to all shields or whatever the heck. I like I like that right now. Do you have a way to kill the zombie in one, which I think is just a no-brainer? But the question is, actually, I think I'd rather get rid of the poison right now. Non-zero chance that we get uh, a way to just pop you from full. Target ally can't die this turn plus redirect is a really good combo. Oh my god, we like we extremely have this. Add zeroed. We could do like demon horn and put it on berserker. Add cleanse to the top and bottom sides. Yeah. There we go. Monk's looking kind of good there. Ooh, yes. I think we want the four damage side. So you, you don't want to get uh, protect from death on turn one. It just doesn't... It, it, it's who cares. <laughs> it's what I would say. Loving the eggshell on the Berserker. Quite, quite good. It's really easy to get, and we don't have whole much, uh, whole much else to get. <laughs> I don't mind this. We can do a little bit of weirdness here. Valkyrie instead of the monk that we just got and do like. If we add cleanse to this, it doesn't do anything because there's no symbols. Or we could take the stoic, who is just fine. Like, completely, there's nothing wrong with him. God, if I could turn you into the Valkyrie, I would do it. I, I want to give the monk a chance. Valkyrie's good, and I, I think Valkyrie's really good, but also... Uh, what am I lower taken? I mean, R.I.P. so many of these. Prince is basically the only one. Poet, yeah, I mean, I like Poet. We'll take the Stoic. One out of seven. Let's bump up those rookie numbers. I will miss the, uh, the magic. The thing that's nice about the Stoic, he does have a stun side and has a baked-in crazy amount of health. So, like, that's really helpful. could fish for, like, that stun side. Alright. That does help. I think I want to weaken the ones that are attacking the stoic. I think, I, I think I'd prefer that. Try and get you in the realm of um, still being able to be stunned at some point. Though we're getting plagued, our, our, our HP is going to be getting lowered and lowered. Ugh. Ew. We're just gonna be completely fine here. Ah, man. Swindled, absolutely swindled. 
I'm not going to say no to that. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought might be the problem. We cleanse the Berserker. <laughs> but the things that are, that are coming in right now don't get cleansed. Because they, they have not happened yet. I mean, it's fine. We should win on this turn. Like, this squad is very in-your-face strong. If we go for uh, the Death Wish first, we get the doubled... Double damage up to two. Smelly manure. Add the K and growth to all sides. So the K to the middle sides. Growth to the top and bottom. It's not bad for the stoic in a way. Because this doesn't care about how many pips we get. It's a plus one, plus one. Longbow. Eh. I don't think I'm using longbow. I'll put it on the soldier, but we're going to get rid of him. Fine. Let's do it. Challenger. Unlock a monster. Smelly manure for you. Congratulations. There's no reason not to have that, I guess. Oh boy. Plus one, minus one, plus one. Yeah. Or add pain and plus two pips to... Wait, to all sides. Wait. That's just fantastic. Do we want to, like... That's kind of nuts. However, it just does work extra well for you since you are already kind of in the... You're in danger a little bit. Oh, God. What have I done with this? <laughs> what have I done with this? Should went for the copycat side. I think that would have been good. I can get you out of the way. Which helps, but not completely. Oh, this sucks. What have I done? What hath I done? Because I, obviously I can't kill you. We have to pick between the two, and it, with that choice, it's it's kind of obvious. We're, you know, we're going to save the ranger. Which does mean the stoic is hurting a lot. Two damage here. It's ogre or trying to go for the knoll. I think we... Ah, that sucks. I tell you, these the challenges are so rarely worth it. It's kind of nuts. Okay, I do appreciate that right now. So this would Im increase what the... Yeah, increases what the ogre's got going on. Kill the knoll. Could self-sacrifice the monk to go for something stronger here. Or we could also just, like, not <laughs> self-sacrifice for no reason. I would rather have the, the monk uh, take this smacking. Stokes is going to build up over time, and we can potentially have him stun. Yikes. Oh, I mean, that was never going well anyways. You can't... 
Okay. Well, that was always going to be a problem. You can't you can't do anything. Shoot. It's it's pretty overkill, but I think we kind of have to do it. I tell you, challenges aren't worth it. <laughs> They're like not worth it. Just for uh I don't want to math it out. Oh god. Oh no. We can't I mean, if we can't stun with that. You're at nine, you're at six. Uh nothing we could do with these would solve it. Therefore we keep this. We look for the damage sides. Thank you. Absolute hero. If anyone could do it, it'd be you dudes. There we go. Where were these rolls last turn? That berserker is mighty. Agent. Agent is quite good. I don't want to really replace the berserker with the veteran, do I? I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. We get plus two pips to all sides. Basically, he would gain the ability to potentially. Oh god. The the alternative is we uh, we give that stuff to the the old agent. And then the eggshell, like, will nullify some of the bad effects. This could be a three damage quad use. Oh, God, that's, that's interesting. It's an interesting proposition. Veteran is just, like, completely fine. <laughs> like, we could take the same items and put it on him, and it's, like, it's completely fine. But, like, if I take this stuff off, then the, the Berserker's getting a little bit sketchy. Uh, this is tough. This is tough. I do like my Ranger already as is. It solves a lot of problems. This is actually really hard. Jeezer, take the wheel. All right, fine. We're taking the Barbarian. All right, fine. So, uh, <laughs> the death side, we still die. The other sides are, are really good. The fact that that's one of our worst sides is hilarious. Can I please get this stunt? Let, let's, let's play out a turn. Let's play out a turn. Uh... You're killing here. Oh, wait, oh no, you're killing. Maybe I don't care about that for a sec. Then the monk's dying, which I care less about. The only thing that would make that better would be a stun. I have to figure out which gray heroes are being targeted. Okay. Um, let me just let me just play this out again. Yeah, you're you're one off there, regardless. So it is kind of like. It feels as though we're missing an opportunity if we don't kill this sniper. 
Like that feels wrong to do, but it's just being one off here sucks. I think we have to, uh, I think we have to ignore. Go for that, and then it's kind of like who cares on the sniper, so let's try and protect the ranger a little bit or protect the stoic because he's being attacked by two people instead. And I'm going to go with that one. Uh, the good news is with just the monk dying, if we roll like, oh, god dang it, I, I'm going to get rid of that crap. It is, uh, you would think. You would freaking think that the one in six wouldn't happen as often as it is, but... Okay. This is still not a ton better. <clears throat> but we're good enough. Add decay and plus one pips. Six max HP on the Stoic is obviously good. Zero doesn't care about the old thing. Come on. Let me stun a god. We could save the blind for uh, last year. Let's play this turn out, I guess. We could also just kill. Um, protecting yourself this way gets us a lot of mileage. I actually think that... I think let's just play that whole turn out. I think that's just good enough. Barbarian should be able to take out the bottom troll, like, almost regardless of the rule. It's fun, right? Alright, that's the only one we don't want. Thank you. Uh, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. The way we're playing super aggro on purpose, it would make sense that we do keep losing people here. I think we save the ranger. A little bit of overkill here, then, but save the ranger. Let the troll flee. I can't imagine I want to do this. Oh my god, not even close. Okay, well, the, the the monsters aren't that scary, but the rewards are so bad. Like, holy crap bad. Mm. Mandatory death. I think I might take the prince. Should I? Should I? Wow me. Keep her. Yeah, I'm with it. Shield 5 steel, self heal, self shield. I'm with it. Nothing wrong with that to me. Cleanse on these sides as well. That like that becomes actually quite a bit better. Fantastic. Yeah, you just, yeah. Getting the archer out of the way sounds like a good call to me. And then, yeah, two damage is kind of like on our, our, on our lower end, so I think we go for it. Similarly, that's ironically on our lower end, but we do have, we could like, pop the, just for a second, we could, like, do that and then pop the bloodlust to get a little bit of extra damage, which is nice. Then, yeah, we'd have to sack somebody here, which I'm okay with sacking the soldier. Give me something that'll defend him. Okay. Good deal. Because I would prefer that right now. Oh. 
if all else is equal, we just play that out. Plus two pips to the two right sides. Ugh. Yellow here gets plus one pipped all sides. I think we take it. Hmm. 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 Just a, a guy that's pretty good no matter what. The range sides are nice. Two damage copycat is appealing because we could get something like Death Wish. Uh, or no, we don't have Death Wish anymore. But I guess we could get like the, the ranged cleave copycat with that still if we do it this way. It's a way of getting a ranged side. Uh, we could get the engage, self shield. Hell, we could even get steel. We could st uh, taking steel is kind of interesting. I hate I hate this. Let's play it out for a sec. Who would we want dead? Sort of the chomp. But this way the ranger doesn't get weakened no matter what. I mean, we're, we basically are taking almost nothing. Like compared to a usual run, this is... <laughs> They're tickling me. There's no, like, optimal. Perish. Eccentric. Ugh. These are both kind of boring. Eccentric kind of messes up everything I have. Like, he's kind of good. You just need items that make him good. I don't have items that make him good. He's not... He's not improved by my stuff. Because, like, obviously, these are high-value sides. So... The fact that they're blank is kind of nice, because then you can get items that fill them up with high-value stuff. But I just don't... I just don't have any of those items. Right? Yeah, not really. Ludus? Ludus is not Im improving anything I have. Hit me with a random. Sharp shot. Nothing wrong with it. I will say I don't think I am going to go for uh, lead boots on the sharp shot, though. In fact, I don't think I'm going for lead boots on anybody. Is this sharp shot with no items better than the other guy? I think the answer is probably a, a no, but... Okay, we can at least get a zombie. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, this should be our run, absolutely our run to kill zombies in one shot. This should be nothing. I'm just, it's just a good enough. It's good enough that I know that we'll uh, we'll wipe this fight, you know. So. We're, we're not we're not messing I should have gone for the steel one I don't know why I didn't Rip. <laughs> keepers just like dude what the hell man can trip to the two right sides. is gonna be a yes the question is where Ugh, on the sharp shot 
Replace the middle side with one damage, single use, cleave, engage, self heal, weaken, vulnerable. See, like, that's where if we would have got the eccentric, that could have been pretty good, but. Time stone. I want time stone on somebody that isn't the sharp shot, so this will start going randomly. So it's kind of a bummer here. We could do this. Lech. Blech. I mean, that is decent. I wish I could put it here. This is fine, because then it does just it does just always have cantrip. The eh. It's an argument for that. In which case we'd replace this back. Eh. It's a bit weird. I, I would not say that our um, our strength has gone, like, super up in the past tiny stretch here. Hmm. Hmm. You're doing what? A petrify? One damage weaken. I feel like I would prefer to remove that from the table. The range sides are, are quite helpful. Okay. Um... this for a second. Let's just look at this for a second. Oh, it's, it can't be right. It cannot be right. Like, we can kill the Basilisk, but then... We're definitely not keeping that. I think we can keep... You know, there's a, there's a handful of things that are going to be good there. This is good enough. I think that's good enough. All right. Hold up. Still not right. Unless I kill the... Unless I can kill the Hydra. I just... Uh, yeah. Well, wait. Hold on. Yeah. It was actually close. Yeah, that was one of the... Willing to go for it. If we just let him take that, it's probably for the best. Cool. At this point, I think we just start uh, we start going for some passive damage. Slowly, okay. Or just a big blast of damage, actually. Could have rolled, could have been fine. But Squad just has no chance of losing right now. Oh, the brawler. Oh, the brawler. Oh, the brawler. That's a man for our squad indeed. Uh, four damage rampage. Hot stuff. Absolutely hot stuff. Five damage rampage is very cool. But also, a steel side. Another steel side, which... Uh, mixed with the copycat could be quite good. We could give somebody a shield, copycat, a little bit of shenanigan that way. Is It's quite possibly very, very good. I don't know what the hell to do with my other stuff. I think that I just leave it. Oh, it's the hand again. Oh, it's the hand again. I hate this guy. What's the ideal here? Let me, uh, let me see. That's a one-shot. So that, that's already pretty ideal. You know what? Is that, nah, is that good enough? Because then you, you do the, the freaking... Well, but then what's gonna happen next turn? So...
That's actually the only side we don't want. Cool. That's the only side we don't want, because it means we have even less damage. God, this fight sucks. <laughs> if I had to pick one fight that's just not it, man, it's going to be this one. Uh, the three damage and the growth is a maybe. I think that the six shield is probably better than anything. I think we have to take all that. Okay, hold on. We can kill one. Saves the Barbarian. The Brawler can save himself. Mixed with this. I almost think... Um, I almost think we just have to say that that's good enough. Because you being stunned this turn... God, dude. Jesus. Uh, stoic stealing one is probably going to be good enough. Let's just look at this. Let's just freaking look at this. Would I rather take the death side? This we're keeping for sure. The rest is kind of in a little bit of a weird spot. That that we have to keep. This, I don't know if I want to risk the uh, the empty. I might really be willing to risk the empty there. Okay, that actually, that we like that. We like that. We like what just happened. That's a kill. Brawler can save himself now. Uh, Sharp Shot can help save himself now, too. Like, this is, this is now enough to save you. I think I need to keep the Barbarian. I think the Keeper has to go, which sucks. We kind of... Okay, okay, this, this is ideal. Believe it or not, this is ideal. Kill the topmost enemy is one of the better things we could get. Oh, especially because we can... Um, maybe get... Maybe get a stun. I mean, we want the... We want the death side. <sighs> that doesn't do it. I mean, I think that 11, we just take the 11 damage. I think that anything else is, is a bit wild at this point. I might, I mean, we might as well reroll this if we can't stun anyways, which I'm going to double check. We can't stun. 11 versus 18. No, he's got quite a bit more than we had thought. We'll roll this into whatever at this point because we might as well. Alright, it sucks to lose the Barbarian here. Okay, you actually kind of, believe it or not, want to see this stuff right now. Cool. I think we got him. But good god, the hand is hand is just so much tougher than the other, uh, the other final bosses, in my personal opinion. Hexia who is what I have to say. Hexia who. Dragon who. Uh... Honestly, inevitable, well, no, inevitable can be really bad too, but to an extent, inevitable who. You come into this fight, I, I think it's just down to the fact that this fight uh, rewards specific, very specific builds. Uh, as in, you come into the fight with a, a build center around like one pip stuff. Banger. Today, that was not really our, our thing, but we still got it. We still did it. It was a close one. It was a tight one. It was a butt clencher. But hey, alas, alas, man, oh man, what a run. I just, I love a good force run. It feels very good. Very, very, very good. Uh, it's like a fun, stompy kind of a build, but then it's also like, 
if things start going a little bit not your way, they're going to go really not your way. But thankfully today, we uh, the moment they stopped going our way, like we, we sort of lost steam around the, uh, the level two to level three pivots, aside from um, getting the barbarian, which... You know, I wasn't going to take if it showed up just because we took it again or we took it recently. But um, the I'd say the pivot in the sharpshooter pivot was not an improvement. For example, I think that the uh, the brawler pivot was absolutely uh, a benefit. I quite liked the keeper. I thought it was quite helpful. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that um, some of the things that we don't normally take. Uh, that I got today, I do I do appreciate them, and I, I think I'll, I'll value them a bit more in the future. But last, last, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Slice and Dice. If you're sad to see the series go, we got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.